In this video, we created a theme and modified a single page to observe its impact. Now that you understand the basic fundamentals, let's move forward. Hello everyone! Today, we'll explore how to create a basic package that will include all the theme-related views. Once created, we will publish these views to the resource folder. When creating a theme, you are typically not just modifying a single page but making changes across all pages. To manage this effectively, we will create a dedicated package. Let's proceed by creating a new package. First, we will create a folder and name it New Theme. Inside this folder, we will create another folder named Source. For now, we will leave it as is. Now, let's navigate to the composer.json file. In this file, we will add an autoload registry. First, we will update it to reference the new theme, both here and here. After making these changes, we need to run the command composer dump autoload. This command will register your classes for autoloading. Once this is done, your classes will be autoloaded. Next, we will create another folder named provider. Since a package requires a provider, we will create one to register this package. To do this, we will use a Laravel command. Run the command php artisan make provider, and we will name it new theme service provider. This provider will be placed in the provider directory. Don't worry about that for now. Just cut the file and paste it into the appropriate directory. Here is our new theme service provider. In this file, we will update the namespace to match the one we configured for autoloading. This ensures the namespace is properly generated. So, this is our provider. From here, we will register the provider in the app directory. We will refer to it as webcool, new theme service provider class. This will register your provider. To verify whether the provider is registered, we will proceed as follows. In either the boot or register method, let's use the boot method for this example, we will add a ddump statement to confirm. Specifically, we will ddump the message new theme service provider registered. This will help us verify that the package is properly registered. Now, let's refresh the application. If you see the ddump message, new theme service provider registered, it means your new package has been successfully registered. For now, this is a basic package. All we've done is create a simple new theme folder and register a provider. We will continue building on this by adding more code. Next, we will start by registering the views. To register our views, the first step is to create a new folder named resources. Inside the resources folder, we will create another folder named views. Next, we will move all the existing resources we created, such as components and home, into this views folder. Once moved, we can delete the original files as they are now organized under the views folder. Now, we will publish all our views from this package. To do this, we need to register a publisher. For registering the publisher, we will add a specific path. I have already written the necessary code for this. Simply add this code in the boot method. We don't need to make any additional changes, just include this. This particular line of code is responsible for registering and managing the path for publishing your views. By doing so, we ensure the views are properly published and accessible from this package. This process will copy all the resources from the package's view directory and place them in the root resource path. As a result, all your views will be moved to this path. To verify this, we will run the command php artisan vendor publish. After running the command, we will look for our new theme service provider. Once located, select it and press enter. If the process is successful, you will notice that the same folder structure is now replicated here. Now, if I refresh the browser, I will see the exact same page as before. See how simple and efficient this process is. We have successfully created a basic package and published all the theme-related data to the registered path. In the next video, I will demonstrate how to configure Vite within this package. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.